In this video, I will show you how the intelligent flight mode TapFly is working. This is probably one of the most overlooked features that you get with the DJI Mavic 2 or the Mavic Zoom. If you're new around here, I'm Henrik Olsen, and if you want to improve your drone skills, learn about emails, then consider subscribing to my weekly tips, tests, and tutorials. You start by going uh, into the flight modes, and then you select tap fly. And the first option that is available is the forward tap fly. The idea behind this one is that you basically just tap the screen in the direction that you want the drone to fly. So let's say we want to have it to fly towards this little bush over here. I just tap the screen like that, and press go. Then it will go towards this bush and I can change the flying direction I can change where it, where it should go basically like it is but if I want it to go in another direction I can basically just tap the screen so it will always change the point that is uh, in the horizon so if I put in a point like this here let's see what we can find over here that's pretty interesting let's see we take this bunker so if I take this one and press go, it will fly towards that bunker. And then hands off, so it flies by itself towards that until you stop it or until some of the sensors uh, detect something. So. I can correct uh, the direction with the sticks or I can move uh, to another position on the screen. So let's just stop it here. The next option is that I can do it in reverse. And maybe we should bring the drone back here before we do that. So let's do the, the tap fly in reverse. So we press that one. If I press go here, I don't know what happens actually. Yeah, okay. It just flies backward like I would expect. <laughs> That's a lie because I was actually not quite sure what he was doing. So. But it works the other way around. It, um, it basically just uh, keeps the camera or keeps um, everything pointing in the direction that you have uh, pointed on the screen. And then it will back off instead of flying forward. So that's basically the reverse function of uh, what we just did. So in comparison to the quick shot modes that are doing all sorts of fancy tricks flying around, this one is uh, pretty predictable what it's doing. So now it's descending and let's just stop it here and that is uh, pretty interesting but the most interesting thing is the free flight mode the idea with this uh, flight mode is uh, basically a little bit like course lock i set the course where it's going to fly and then i can operate the drone independently of uh, the flying direction or the flight direction so it's like that so let's just point up the camera and go after this. We need to find something interesting. There, there's a bunker over there. Let's take that one. So now we are pointing towards the bunker, like that. And then I will turn the camera so it actually faces me, but, but the drone will continue towards the bunker. So let's just do that. So let's say like that, go. And I will slow down the speed because that will make it easier for me to do it. So you can see, It basically just now flies in the direction. And if I want to compensate or do something with the camera, maybe you can see it. Ah, that's not easy. That is not easy. But it's flying towards the, the bunker. And I can independently move around with the camera. So now it's saying the battery level is low. So maybe we should have bought this. So let's just bring it back. Do you have any additional questions about the, the intelligent flight modes that you get with your DJI Mavic 2? Then let me know in the comment section below. And uh, of course, as always, I encourage you to go out and play with these flight modes. This was not an expert video, but at least it gives you a rough idea how the tap fly function is working. And as you can see, it can be used for many, many good things. It's a really strong feature that it does not get a lot of uh, promotion. Uh, I for sure would use it a little bit uh, more. Uh, but I thought when I was out here with plenty of space, it would be a good uh, chance actually to show you how this function uh, works. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then uh, press the like button. If you didn't like it, then feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.